So somehow, the Cyberpunk 2077 situation is only getting worse. We of course heard the massive news last night that Sony was pulling Cyberpunk from their store and is now offering refunds to anyone who bought a digital copy. But even since then, we've heard responses and a similar approach from both Best Buy and Microsoft. And even CD Projekt Red has posted a couple of responses to this whole situation, giving updates on retail refunds overall, and even a bit more context on this Sony decision of what exactly happened here. But if all that wasn't enough, we also have some insight as to what's going on at CD Projekt right now. We saw the stock have a massive drop today, and there is a potential for an investor's lawsuit. We'll talk a bit about that news. And even some of the developers of the game, employees at CD Projekt, very frustrated at the state of things and voicing those frustrations. There's a lot to talk about at this one. The situation is continuing to evolve and get even bigger. So firstly, let's look at the situation with some of the frustrated or angry developers. So this comes from Jason Schreier. Just yesterday, after the refund news did come out from Sony, he actually posted that if you want to talk about the game and work for CDPR, here's his email. And it seems like some developers definitely reached out. As today, he put up an article discussing some developer reactions and even statements made as CDPR internally on Thursday seemed to have had a digital meeting, so probably a giant Zoom call with many people, where you could talk about things, talk about your thoughts, and almost have a question and answer session with some of the higher ups. Although it is important to note, this is before the Sony announcement. Some of the interesting takeaways stated during this, a developer asking why on earth did some of the executives or the board say the game was complete and playable in January when that wasn't true, to which the board here answered that it would take responsibility for that. If you're not familiar with this, when Cyberpunk got its first delay of the year, that's actually before COVID and everything else that unfolded in 2020, they mentioned that they were delaying the game to polish it, this being the original delay from April to September. September. But in that delay statement in January of 2020, said Cyberpunk 2077 was already complete and playable. And we have this stuff here saying that just wasn't true. Further, we have another developer asking whether CD Projekt's directors felt it was hypocritical to make a game about corporate exploitation while expecting that their employees work overtime. Apparently the response to this was pretty vague. It seems like largely they got a no response, but that was a very direct and on the nose criticism. And overall, it seems like in the eyes of developers as to why this game ended up being such a buggy mess, especially on the last gen, are some of the game's deadlines set by that board of directors. The deadlines were always unrealistic. It was clear to many of the developers that they just needed more time with this product. One thing I would like to add though is I have to imagine there could be some selection bias here. We're only hearing from a couple of devs and I don't know if it's necessarily representative of the dev team overall. Some devs are clearly angry but this doesn't mean the devs overall are outraged or all looking for new jobs and I think this could get blown out of proportion into that when we don't necessarily know thus far. That's not to say they aren't, they definitely could be very very angry and frustrated, but to me this is really just evidence that a handful of people are angry and I think over the next couple of weeks we'll start hearing more about the overall employee base at CD Projekt and where they stand. But in general, I really feel for the developers here. I feel like they are caught in a very tough situation. Imagine you're working on this game for years, what is getting slowly built up to be one of the most anticipated games of all time. And as you start to approach that release date, you have the delays, the backlash around that, but even after some of that additional time from delay you start to realize, oh no, this game is not ready for release. In addition to having to crunch for an extended period, Cyberpunk finally releases and ends up being a giant controversy, a game that many of these developers dumped probably hundreds if not thousands of hours into actually making. It's a tough situation for them, and it seems like this buggy release is totally out of their hands. As CDPR kind of said in some of their investor calls that they didn't listen to some of the feedback that was likely coming from these developers. Developers are not the only people frustrated or unhappy with CD Projekt though, as we also saw a huge dive in the stock off the news of this refund policy and the pulling from the Sony store. The stock opened down around 13% today and then an intraday trading actually dropped all the way to 20% down, but by close it actually rose up to only 12% down, so that was a decent recovery. But this is notable because at its current price, CD Projekt Red stock has wiped out all of its 2020 gains. It is now valued at the same price it was in late 2019, so all of that hype 
been anticipation building was wiped out by this release, at least in terms of investor profits. And that's not some small deal. I know CDPR stock may not be talked about too often in the United States because it's not traded on an American stock exchange. This is one of the biggest stocks overall on the Polish stock exchange, and even further, at one point in May of this year, as things were approaching their highs for CD Projekt, they became the most valuable game company in all of Europe. They of course have had quite a significant fall from that. And it seems like some investors may be wanting to take action around this. There was actually this post that has been getting passed around on Bankier.pl. This basically being a Polish investment based news site, they think of it kind of similar to Seeking Alpha or Market Watch, and more or less on this public forum, someone claiming to be both a CDPR investor and also a Polish lawyer, and if you google this name it does seem like it is a Polish lawyer, is seeking to have a class action lawsuit against CD Projekt, and he wants to gather investors to sue for misrepresentation in order to obtain financial benefits, basically saying that CDPR misrepresented their product so their stock price would increase and in turn that hurt investors because they weren't properly informed about the product. So as far as whether or not this is legit or not, it's really hard to tell. I mean, again, it's just on a public forum, so anyone could make an account and make this post and just find the name of a lawyer in Poland. So do take it with a grain of salt on one hand, but on the other hand, I wouldn't be shocked if this is real. I think it definitely could be real, but of course time will tell. I wanted to highlight this one because I've seen some people passing it around as fact that CDPR is getting sued right now, but that is not necessarily true. Again, this is super circumstantial and has a decent chance of being fake. What isn't fake though is the recent news to come out of both Xbox and Best Buy, as we got big updates from both of those outlets as well as CDPR itself. So first and foremost, let's look at the Xbox response. This was sent out by the Xbox support Twitter. They say, Cyberpunk 2077, to ensure that every player can get the experience they expect on Xbox, we will be expanding our existing refund policy to offer full refunds to anyone who purchased Cyberpunk 2077 digitally from the Microsoft Store until further notice. While we know the developers at CD Projekt Red have worked hard to ship Cyberpunk 2077 in extremely challenging circumstances, we also realize that some players have been unhappy with the current experience on older consoles. To date, we have granted refunds to the vast majority of customers who have requested one. So I found this to be particularly interesting because it came just hours after we heard from Reuters that the CEO of CD Projekt told them we are not in such discussions with Microsoft at the moment, that being on actually pulling the game from the store overall. In my opinion, I I think Microsoft was forced to do this. Sony not only offering refunds to anyone who requested it that owned a digital copy, but also pulling the game in its entirety from their store put a lot of pressure on Microsoft to do something. If Sony was offering that service and then Microsoft didn't offer refunds for a game that is arguably in a similar to almost exactly the same quality, that being the PS4 version and the base Xbox One version, Microsoft would just look bad there. And I honestly don't think Microsoft would have done this or gone this route if Sony hadn't done it first. I think the only reason this is happening is in response or really being forced to by Sony. And also it was important to note that Microsoft does have way closer ties with CD Projekt Red. In the past they had some kind of marketing deal, of course CDPR has had several cyberpunk trailers at Microsoft based Xbox events, and personally I think this makes a lot more sense than pulling the game altogether from the store. If you want to refund, the options there to you. If you want to keep playing the game, the options also there to you. I think the fact that Sony pulled it from the store overall is a little weird, especially when it does bar PS5 players from getting it. The game obviously isn't perfect on PS5, but it's very much so playable and workable. It's a buggy game, no doubt, and it does suffer from performance issues also at times, but to me overall the Microsoft response makes a lot more sense, giving users that option for an out if they want it, but also keeping it open for those who are getting next gen consoles for the holiday or just buying them with their own money that they have been saving. Although it also is really important to note that the game probably runs best right now on the Xbox Series X out of all of the next gen consoles, and really all of the consoles overall. It actually has a quality and performance mode, and even before this, the Xbox side of things seemed to be a bit more lenient with the refunds than Sony. It really seemed like Sony was getting hounded and really denying refunds way more often than Microsoft after CDPR made this refund announcement a couple of days ago. But Cyberpunk's official Twitter also had another update on this, this one being an update on retail refunds, where they do say, we've just started reaching out to people who who sent us a message with a confirmation of receipt. We send these emails out in waves, so don't worry if you don't receive an answer immediately. At the same time, we'd like you to know that our intention is for every owner of a physical copy or a digital copy bought at retail who has valid proof of purchase and sends us an email at this email within the time window to receive a refund. We'll do this out of our own pocket if necessary. If you are unable to obtain a 
refund for the game from the store where you bought it, please contact us via email until December 21st. As this is a one-time initiative, we will provide everyone with next steps only after the refund request submission window closes. For digital versions, please follow the refund process of each respective platform. And following this rule, we saw Best Buy make a post on their official support forum, saying that although normally Best Buy is unable to offer returns of open game software, after some deliberation and seeing that the vendor, this likely referring to CDPR, will be allowing returns through 12-21-2020, Best Buy will also be allowing returns for select open Cyberpunk 2077 SKUs through December 21st, 2020. And then after that, they'll return to their typical return policy. So if all of that wasn't totally clear, what CDPR and kind of Best Buy is saying here, up until the 21st of December, which, reminder, it's only three days away, if you bought Cyberpunk, and to be clear, this is just console copies, not applying to PC copies of the game, you could return it and get a full refund. There's no longer a barrier to entry. Even if you didn't buy it at Best Buy, it seems like based off the wording here, let's say you bought it at Walmart, opened it, played it for 20 hours, but are like, you know what, I'm done. You technically still can send an email to CD Projekt and it looks like they will refund you. And of course, for digital copies, you can now reach out to both Microsoft and Sony and get a full refund that way. Of course, it is worth noting because apparently people are getting mad about this. If you get a refund digitally via Sony or Microsoft, they will take the game away. You won't still have it on your account. You are giving up access to the game in exchange for a refund. And then the other side, CDPR is picking up the slack for physical copies. So even if retailers aren't offering you a refund, they will, which is pretty insane. This is another unprecedented event in gaming to just offer a full and blanket refund for everyone who bought this game, regardless of where they bought this game. One of the things that still isn't clear here, and I tried searching, could not find an answer. So if you do know the answer, please comment down below. For those who are going through CD Projekt to refund a physical copy of the game, will they have to actually send them the copy? Intuitively, you would say yes, but that also seems like it could be a shipping nightmare for CD Projekt Red. But that could also mean if you have a physical copy, you could get a refund but keep the game, which also seems wrong. Either way, my take on this is it's actually a good step in the right direction. Like, this is definitely CD Projekt going out of their way to make things right. There are some downsides in the fact that it's only three days. Many people are going to be getting this game on Christmas Day. Christmas Day is going to be a week from today on, oh god, I have to do Christmas shopping. Christmas is on Friday, so of course those people will not be able to refund their game, but overall still, this is really good in my eyes. This is definitely one of the first steps they could take to fixing this game and repairing trust with the community. What they did was really bad, but this is definitely a good step. I mean, literally everyone and anyone could get a refund right now, according to what has just been stated. Start off with this, then over the next couple of months, patch the game, get it into a playable state, and I could definitely see them making some bit of a comeback here. One of the unique situations with CD Projekt and Cyberpunk compared to other gaming controversies is the actual game is good. Like on my PC, I've been encountering minimal bugs, just visual stuff here or there, nothing game breaking anymore, and having a ton of fun with it. I think many people, if they're playing on next gen, playing on a good PC, or if they actually get the game working on last gen consoles, would enjoy it. It without a doubt has problems and in some ways does not live up to the hype, but I've seen a lot of comparisons between this game and Anthem and Fault 76, and with this one, I feel like CDPR has been doing a lot better after the launch. What they did before the launch with the scamming and the misleading is horrible, but thus far they've been handling the post-launch situation much better than both Bethesda and Bioware. Of course, we're gonna have to see how this evolves when the game is even in a playable state. I still have my doubts as to how good they could get this to work on base last gen consoles. It's still really laggy even after this update, so how much more work is there? And even further, who are the people doing this work? Is there going to be more crunch? That's a different aspect of this to consider. Devs are clearly very frustrated based off what we talked about earlier. And now with CDPR going to be asking them for a couple more months of hard work? That could not go over well with how angry they already are. Either way, that's all the latest news and updates on this situation. I'd love to hear from you guys down below. What do you think about this? How do you feel about CDPR, the reputation, and even Cyberpunk itself? Of course, we have all this controversy, and I'm sure for those of you on last gen consoles, maybe you're not enjoying the game as much, but just overall, are you having fun with the game even in spite of this poor practice by CD Projekt? Or are you having a bit more fun now that they're trying to turn this around in one way or another? Either way, as always again, I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one and I hope to see you all next time. Later.